Hey, we're back. Uh, how you doing, guys? Uh, uh, I want to thank everybody uh, in the chat room because um, last show that I did, uh, it was kind of—I'm not saying it was a Christmas special, but uh, thanks for everybody that showed and uh, you know showed up for that. Uh, I was really surprised because occasionally I get that many people in there, but you know, not always. So uh, that was uh, you know a big surprise for me. I think I averaged uh, about 27 viewers. And uh, sometimes uh, it's actually a lot, quite a bit higher than that, maybe uh, 37 or something like that. So um, everybody was behaved, which was nice. Uh, I, I figured everybody tried to ask me to show my feet or something. I don't know why, but um, so uh, very much appreciated. Uh, we are going to have Bruce Naylor that's coming up on Wednesday. And uh, let me give you an exact date. I think it's going to be the... 5th of January 2011. Yeah, we do have the new year coming up. And uh, I know I asked you some of the guys in there before. Uh, what is going to be your hardware resolution for the uh, new year? <laughs> That's kind of a question I asked earlier. Um, okay, we're also going to have... Uh, okay, uh, I probably... Unfortunately, I don't think I can have a show on Saturday... Because uh, that's my last day I'll have with my uh, stepdaughter. But I, if everything goes right, I will have it on Sunday instead. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Sunday, that's when I got to take her to the airport. So hopefully that won't interfere uh, maybe with a late night broadcast uh, around the same time. So Because uh, I only get to see her once a year. So uh, And... Uh, and that's uh, some of the things we're going to talk about now. I finally got the uh, uh, tornado plug in. Uh, I got it probably three or four days ago. And, uh, of course, it was because of the holidays. It was actually, uh, I think it was about a week late, which is not too bad. Because I know there's probably millions of people out there uh, sending out uh, packages. So uh, it was a little bit delayed. Uh, I believe it was sent by priority mail. I thought it was sent by UPS, but I made a mistake. So, uh I decided to um, do a video instead, uh, showing you know, physically. That way, I could post it on YouTube, and because uh, I actually started some of the testing and stuff last night, I, I really needed to uh, get that started. So, um, actually, the video is probably a little bit better quality. Uh, uh, you know, you can see everything quite well. So, uh, I'm going to probably show you that first, and then uh, I'll give you my initial thoughts on uh, some of the things that I tested out yesterday. So. Uh, uh, I'm probably going to show that probably about right now. So here we go. I'm um, going to go ahead and do a, a quick unboxing video of the uh, Tornado plug right here. Uh, I just got it in uh, a couple days ago. Um, the mail was a little slow because it was Christmas time and uh, all the packages uh, being sent out for Christmas slowed it down. So um, we're going to do an unboxing video so I can put it on YouTube as well and the uh, Chatterbox show. And uh, we need to get this done quickly because we need to do the testing phase. Uh, and uh, probably going to do a full review in a f couple of weeks uh, once we um, test it out thoroughly. So uh, it just comes in some uh, simple packaging uh, like this uh, when it came. So I did, I did open it up partially just to make sure uh, what was in it and uh, stuff like that. And it comes in some bubble wrap here and uh, actually what I liked about it is that it comes in uh, a very unique box um, it just has little magnetic strips that hold the box closed which I thought was kind of cool but I don't know so that's kind of neat and uh, inside well actually let me show you the outside of the box uh, to need a plug and it gives you a little, little bit of the uh, features, specifications, and if you see that this little leaf right here, it means it's very green, and uh, probably uh, tell you that during the review, so right, let me get it back open again, and inside we got uh, an additional power cable right here, and I'll show you the reason why they include another one, of course the uh, Ethernet cable comes with an uh, extra one of that, and uh, also uh, some uh, instructions right here. Actually, you might, uh, you probably do want to read this because uh, 
there's a little uh, a few setup things you need to uh, read first before you <laughs> try to use it I know uh, a lot of guys like myself we don't like instructions but uh, it's kind of important to read them and I believe it comes with the uh, the warranty as well and uh, it, uh, it also comes bubble wrapped and uh, and the unit itself is actually very small I mean it's uh, I mean it's uh, a little bit bigger than uh, well quite a bit bigger than uh, a normal wall wart and uh, of course you got the uh, Tanito uh, name right here uh, you got two indicator lights they're not really marked uh, but it'll t probably tell you the status of the uh, Tanito plug and uh, on the bottom right here we have uh, Ethernet port with some uh, indicator lights on that as well. Uh, that's what you're supposed to hook up to the uh, the router. And uh, you have a uh, USB cable uh, 2.0 specification, um, which you can either use um, flash drive or uh, a separate um, USB 2 hard drive. You can hook that up as well. And on the other side, um, it has a little. Um, course plug. Uh, you can use it sort of like a wall wart um, type of plug if you want which is uh, I think is a neat feature since it's such a small size or um, if you're lacking and maybe room and I never really uh, tried to unplug this yet and I hope I won't damage anything. Does seem to have a clip on here. Okay, and this just comes off, so um, if you don't have room on your power outlet um, or strip, you can use this um, power cable right here. Oh, i got to check the camera to make sure you guys see that. And uh, I'll show it to you one more time just to make sure you guys see that. And, uh, of course, this is where it plugs in right here. And I went ahead and disconnect the power cable so you can see how you can um, use this as a regular, you know, it kind of gives you more reach, I guess. And uh, it doesn't really matter which way you plug it in, this way or um, the other way. It's not keyed because it's just AC power. Okay, just like that. And I guess it's got feet on the bottom so you can uh, lie it on the table. Okay, um, probably uh, that's as far as the unboxing video goes. Um, stand by in the next couple of weeks. Um, I am going to do a complete review. I want to uh, test it out fully using all the software uh, and test out its abilities. So um, you guys stay tuned uh, uh, for the full review coming up. So uh... Okay, we're back. I had to make sure I switched the uh, microphones. You'll hear an awful echo going there. Um, now, I did unbo uh, unbox it and everything and Pretty much what I did yesterday is um, I installed the software and did the setup and I really didn't use all the, um, I'm trying to think, it comes with apps and stuff. I think most of them already came installed with the software um, and kind of looked through all the software, what was there, how it worked and things like that. And uh, now keep in mind this is not really the official review, I, I just figure I'd do it now um, because uh, I still have an hour and a half of the show, so uh, um, this is unofficial. I got to work out all the bugs, and uh, this is actually done using. Uh, I set it up using the MacBook Pro, and uh, and uh, there was, you know, I'm not saying there was problems. Um, it actually set up pretty easy, and uh, and uh, to uh, you know, you put your name and password. That only took like a couple minutes. Um, there was some little ritzy thing, little ritzy ditzy things with the software. I thought that were kind of um, a little bit of a problem. Uh, now, uh, software that comes with on a Mac um, because you can actually use it on all three operating systems. Uh, they call it Tanito Pla uh, Tanito Mac. Excuse me, T Tanito Pla Nat Mac. I can't even say it. And uh, at first, it's not really a standalone app. It's just you know, once you install it, you just put it in your app folder and uh, you click on it and it, it brings up your default web browser. So it's kind of um, the software you actually access it with is kind of like um, a web app. Um, 
uh, the only thing with that one is it's it's a little bit hard to shut down because um, you shut down the when you're done using it and you log out you try to um, you know click out of it you know like quit the web browser and the uh, the so the Tenido software automatically starts the web browser back up so it's kind of I was kind of going back and forth and uh, so they did have like a menu app where it had the Tenido. Um, you, you could probably maybe shut it down, but I couldn't access it very well at all. So um, about the only way you could shut it down on a Mac is to uh, right-click on the dock and then select qu quit. So uh, I thought that was kind of a little quirky. And uh, uh, so far, I mean, uh, the software is good from uh, everything is advertised, but um, the only thing is if you want to set it up on more than one computer... Uh, the one in the Mac Pro pretty much installed and set it up uh, real easy. But when you try to install it on another computer, um, it tries uh, to do, uh, do another setup. So um, it would, um, uh, you know, it didn't have, it should have a setting in there where you can um, uh, existing, uh, you know, use an existing login to uh, access, uh, you know, your Tenido plug. So um, I can see that as that being kind of a negative because uh, if for some reason I had to reinstall my software, uh, especially on the Mac Pro uh, or uh, excuse me, uh, the MacBook Pro, which I uh, by default had it uh, set up. Um, it would probably try to get me to do a setup again and make my own uh, username and password. So I'll, uh, I have to work that problem out with the software. Actually, I did contact the company on that and told them there was a few uh, you know, uh, some feedback for that, and uh, I'll see if they respond. If so, on that one, um, the only uh, I was kind of a little quirky on them using the so software if they're just going to use the web app anyway, um, because it's pretty much like when you use uh, you know, a router, um, you can use any web browser on nearly any operating system, and then you just type in the uh, you know, the IP address usually of the uh, the router or sometimes it's a name and you know all you got to do is put your username and password and you're boom you're in but um, of course using this setup you have to use your software and uh, I'm not saying it's a negative per se um, but um, by doing that just using the web app alone um, you could get rid of, um, you know, worrying about um, version problems uh, having to worry about the app, uh, application wor software working on all the operating systems, different operating systems. So, uh, but uh, tell you the truth, I, I don't think there's any way around it because um, uh, I believe the uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the other one that they use now, Pogo Plug. I think Pogo Plug does the same thing. I think you have to use their software. Uh, I'm not sure the specific reason why. It could be a security issue. It could be uh, it routes. Um, your Tenido plug through the servers and in to initialize it or something like that. I'm not sure why, but um, and uh, those are the two problems I've seen offhand. Um, but uh, pretty much it, but it worked as advertised so far. Um, the next couple of weeks, I am going to try it out. I haven't used any of the apps. Um, uh, does the, some of the apps that come with it are um, you can stream your music from it. Uh, supposedly, you can also play video as well. Um, I think it has a money app. Uh, I don't. I don't have anything written down uh, right now. But uh, among other things, obviously you can store a lot of your um, um, software on it, uh, files. So uh, if you need to access it remotely or in your network as well. So um, I think I'd tell you the few problems just for uh, for uh, laughs, I guess. Um, Oh, I want to thank you, the, the company, uh, CodeLay. They're the one that sent me the uh, review unit, so I want to thank them for uh, sending it out to me. And uh, 